We've been getting literally hundreds of questions from you texted to us about the coronavirus. We give out the number all the time. It is 216-344-3300. If you have questions, text them to that number. Please, though, do not call. It is a text line only. One of the things we're doing is connecting you to the medical experts to get those questions answered. And Monica had a chance recently to speak with Dr. Shanu Argwal, the chair of infection control at Suma Health, to answer some of your questions. Here it is. When shopping at the grocery store, how much concern should there be for picking up produce? They could transfer it if people who are buying the produce are not washing it, their produce before they're eating it, which I'm assuming most people are, and they definitely should be washing the produce. But again, whenever going to the grocery store, good hand washing, as soon as you enter the grocery store using either the wipes that are provided for the grocery carts, and then washing your hands after you leave the grocery store as well. A lot of people are asking if they can sew masks to protect our healthcare workers. What's the take for SUMA on that? So SUMA Health um, actually really supports the nationwide efforts from Joanne Fabrics, um, who's really been a key player in bringing the community together and providing um, fabric to help the community sew masks. Now that would be if we were to really have a huge um, shortage and we need to provide these masks for our healthcare workers that are on the front lines. So at this point, um, not sure where we're gonna use the masks, but we really support um, Joanne's um, motive to really bring the community together. And I think it's a great, um, great effort that they've, that they've you know, put, them, uh, put out there for us. This one's specific. Our daughter and her three kids have been living with us. We're 66 and 68 years old. My husband has RA and is on rituxan infusions and prednisone and is immune suppressed. They moved out 10 days ago when schools closed. When can they return? So at this point, I think there is um, no way to know when they can return. At this point, I would really strongly recommend following the direction, again, of our state public health officials and sort of to maintain that social distancing until, um, you know, it may be two or three months down the road where it's safe in order to start um, um, kind of coming back together and to meeting family and close ones. But at this point, I think it's very important to practice social distancing. So great questions, great answers as well. Again, if you have questions, you want to text them to us, 216-344-3300. We're trying to get to as many of these questions as we can.